Hello student, I hope you are safe at home. Today, I am going to explain you chapter number 7, Environmental Changes. So, what is atmosphere? Why it is polluted? So, answer to this question is, the covering of air on all the four sides of earth is known as atmosphere. Now, atmosphere gets polluted due to human activities like setting up of industries and factories, running power stations and moving vehicles. Now, what is environmental changes? The changes that occur in temperature, direction of wind, moisture, etc. due to global warming are known as environmental changes changes. Now student, one table is given in your textbook about the places that experience extreme rain, heat, cold and extreme climatic condition. So with the help of the table, you should find out the reason for the same. Okay. Now the next topic is weather. What is weather? The condition of temperature, rain and moisture that is humidity in any region at a particular point of time is known as weather. Now what would be the weather of this place? You have to write the answer in your notebook after carefully observing the given map. See the map is given about the India's climate. Okay. Now, our next topic is climate. What is climate? The average condition of rain, temperature and moisture for over more than 35 years in any is known as climate. You can see the picture given in a textbook. Okay. Now, let us discuss about the Greenhouse farming. Countries with a cool climate receive less heat from the sun. This hampers the growth of plants and vegetables. Hence, arrangements are made to accumulate adequate heat from the sun. The roof is made of either glass or cloth to allow the sun rays to penetrate and sustain the heat inside the building and this practice is known as the greenhouse farming. You can see the picture given in your textbook. Now the next topic is changing climate. You can see the picture given in your textbook changing climate. Okay. Now our next topic is what is global warming. Global warming refers to an unequal and continual rise in the average temperature of Earth's climate system due to the greenhouse gases. It occurs when certain gases in the atmosphere entrap infrared radiation that is UV rays. This effect makes the planet warmer which subsequently reaches to global warming. See the picture, greenhouse effect and the global warming given in your textbook. Now, some news from the newspaper. Average increase of 5 degrees centigrade in the temperature in West Europe heat experienced. 14 degrees centigrade temperature in Darjeeling reaches to maximum of 28 degrees centigrade in 2009 CE. A snowfall in desert. Mumbai received 942 ml rain in one day in the year 2005 CE. Increasing temperature in Australia in the year 2005 CE. Sundarvan is submerging. Reduction of 5 km in Kumbu snow river of Nepal. Ice cap of the size of 3250 square kilometers melts within 35 days in Antarctica. Sources of river are drying up. 
Now, you can see one picture given, figure showing temperature on the earth. Now, how does the earth get heated? The greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, chlorofluorocarbon and halocarbons play an active role in the greenhouse effect. The increase in the proportion of these gases leads to the problem of global warming and climate change. Increase in the temperature by 0 0.6 degree centigrade in the last 100 years. Now student you can see the picture given in your textbook. Each person in the world releases 4.5 metric tons of carbon dioxide. 100 years ago, the amount of carbon dioxide was 275 ppm. Today, it is 350 ppm. Now, ppm means part per millions. For example, 280 ppm is equal to 0.28%. Now, you can see one graph is given in your textbook. Increased average temperature on earth in the last 150 years ok now see the table given in your textbook you have to state that how much are we responsible in adding to the temperature of the earth see in the first column place or thing then the time and the proportion of gases released that aggravates the greenhouse effect first thermal power station 200 megawatt yearly release 9 lakhs ton second motor car yearly 17 crore ton ac on an average 2 hours 24 hours 2230 kg tv 24 hours 190 kg Tube light 24 hours 88 kg, computer 24 hours 130 kg, freeze 24 hours 920 kg. Now, methane that is CH4. The massive increase in methane proportion from 315 ppm in the year 1750 to 1764. PPM in the year 2005 was due to the reason listed below. See, first reason, exhaling of animals and metabolism process release 14 crore ton methane. Paddy cultivation, 15 crore ton. Decomposition of the biodegradable waste, 7 crore ton. Now, student, for your knowledge, you can see things to know. All the things used by human in one day has 80% of the air in it. A man breathes 22,000 times every day. In this way, a man consumes 16 kg of oxygen from the environment per day. Now, nitrous oxide. The proportion of nitrous oxide has increased from 270 ppm to recent 319 ppm. Now, chlorofluorocarbon that is CFC. Due to the use of foam, plastic, refrigerator, AC, circuit, aerosol, spray, the minute particle having the size ranging from 1 micron to 10 micron is known as aerosol etc. There has been an increase in the CFC. Now again for your knowledge things to know. As per the resolution passed by the UN on 23rd January 1995, 16 September is observed as the ozone day. After 1980, year 2007, was the hottest year. Now student in my next video I will explain you the further topic. Thank you.